Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Jacob, we'll start with you once everyone's ready. Ruben, a crazy game to end the season. How do you assess that? Um, well, we know that those games are like that. Our chaos, our, you lose your structure, and then we make a lineup uh, able to bring that. That's why we decided to play with Kamadin in that number nine position because if something he can bring is chaos. So, despite the first two goals that uh, we should not be concede that, then we make a great comeback. We show togetherness, fighting spirit, football, counter attack, speed. Then we should be able to defend better the situation for the three four, and especially don't concede two goals that uh, that quick. But we end up uh, defending against uh, an amazing team and time pro that uh, in the very final day we can put that performance like that, can help the, get the crowd with us and then has not been an easy season for anybody but at least finish with, uh, with some good vibes for all of us. You mentioned the crowd, the fans stay at full time, we're still to applaud. How grateful are you for that and the difference they make today? Uh, listen, uh, they have been uh, good for us during the entire season. We didn't give them that much, uh, and they have been there supporting us. Uh, we knew that we need to get, we know, and we knew that we need to get them with us. And uh, it was very important to get a point and to get a good feeling, to get a good performance, so they can stay at the end of the game and they, we can at least say goodbye to the season in the proper way. Do you still intend to hold a performance review for uh, you this time? To sure. Hold a performance review at the end of the season. Yeah, yeah, we did the performance review a couple of days ago. We discussed about the the points that can be we can do better, the points that uh, we need to hold, and uh, we needed to end up in the in the professional way. And that's not a discussion because it's not about us as a technical staff. It's not about anybody. It's about Southampton, and then the information that we can pass to the future people working here, it's, uh, it's key to don't repeat the same mistakes and if they can find themselves in the same situation as we did, at least they have this footage and the experience of what we did. So we did our review, some technical stuff together, we get some conclusions for us and then uh, somebody will present in the proper place to present it. And just finally, Jeff Cross came off a couple of minutes ago, was that a good point? No, it was not a it was not a good buy. I think uh, Prousey has been uh, has been here for 20 years, has been a captain uh, for a lot of seasons, and I think he deserved that moment uh, with the crowd, with his crowd, uh, to end a season that hasn't been uh, easy for him neither. And uh, that's why we want to give it to him. We didn't think about what happened next because uh, that's not our job right now. But it's our job just to end up with a good feeling for him. And that's why we did it. Thank you. Ruben, what have you told the club about your opinion on where things went wrong and the mistakes you made, the conclusions you've drawn about this? Yeah, well, we have been uh, having a review from uh, the configuration and the squad to the games that we played, where we thought they uh, can be, do a better job, where we thought they cannot, which were the key moments of the game that we didn't manage. How can we better? How we can. Some situations, like with the VAR situations, that uh, we cons we didn't get the goal that we scored, and immediately after we concede the goal, how how do we can approach this in a di in a very different way? Uh, has been an holistic view uh, from the, the dressing room code that we put uh, after the international break to get everybody on point to football performance. So it has been not only about games, it has been about culture. Mentality and maybe a naivety for a young squad? Everything, everything. Uh, of course, we went through the configuration of the squad, not necessarily to go about uh, the junk squad, about go to profiles, things that we think we can do better. In the end of the day, it's not for us to 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 decide for the future, but it's for us to, to say what we, what we think can be different this season. Mark? Hi, Ruben. Uh, on the goodbyes, Theo Walcott said before the game it was going to be his last one. Uh, and he got the chance to come off and, and get a standing ovation. What did you make of his performance and uh, also the contribution he's put into the club? Well, I think, uh, as with uh, James Ward Prowse, I think I'm not about to speak about Theo Walcott. I think uh, his performance and him as a person speak for himself. I think he has been uh, an amazing professional for the club. Uh, he put his effort, he has been, every time he plays, he gives uh, the 100%. He tried to make the other ones better. He has been a threat for the opposition every time from that right uh, hand side or from the front position and he has been trying to do the very best for, for himself, for the club and for his teammates. So for me it has been a pleasure to coach a player like him and a person like him and I wish him all the best.
he's someone in the first half of the season we didn't see too much of, but when you came in and, and took over, he, he came right into his own and, and like you said, has been one of the most important players. So have you enjoyed working with him and, and a lot closely in, in the last few months? Absolutely, absolutely. I think uh, when you see his abilities and the things that he can do on the pitch, and he still can do it, uh, and he proved it in the last three months, uh, there is no doubt that uh, he he was a top player and he's still a very good player and he can, still can make an impact and change uh, football matches and compete in the top level. So uh, for me, it was uh, was very clear that we need to to put him back and uh, give him playing time and then just the, the game time that he got is because he deserved it. And just finally on Camel D, a brilliant performance today. First two goals for the club, but a lot of fans are probably looking at that and thinking, where was this? You know, months ago when, when we signed him for a club record fee. Um, what has changed in the last few weeks, and, and indeed, what has changed this week for you to start him up front? Obviously, it hasn't started a few games before. So. Well, uh, as I told you, and I know you sometimes uh, wear on me because I say it's a process. It's not easy to bring a player in the League One that has been. Uh, not playing that many minutes, just straight to make an impact into the Premier League. He has been uh, intermittent, so he didn't put all the uh, all the robust and constant uh, effort that uh, we needed because he is like that and he needed to learn the Premier League way. I think also the the game today is uh, beneficial for him because, as I say in the beginning, the structure is not exactly there. They changed, Van Dijk didn't play, Robertson didn't play there, so they were in players that they are not usually playing. So we knew that we can have possibilities giving to him a little bit of freedom in that nine position, taking some spaces in the counter-attack, penetration, but also uh, coming a little bit deeper to get the ball. And that's what he did. So he played with that freedom today against uh, in, a, in a game that has not uh, a brilliant structure from any of the, of the both teams. And that's what he did. But uh, he learned the competition, he learned the level. And uh, yes, some, some, <laughs> sometimes you need a little bit of time to, to get that uh, level of performance. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, evening, Ruben. Um, obviously, today was another good performance from Southampton against one of the bigger clubs in the Premier League, against sort of the proverbial top six. Um, I guess that's part of the frustration of this season is that we see in these games how good this team can be, yet it's obviously ended with relegation. It's obviously ended with a lot of less than good performances as well. I mean, it's, that must be incredibly frustrating, I would think. Yeah, you know, we when we see the games, when you play uh, one of the big teams, uh, you know you will be a little bit less in uh, less time with the ball. You will have a less time with the ball, uh, and I think it's beneficial for us for us in some of the aspects. I think some of the games that uh, we have a little bit more possession, we didn't manage in the best way possible. Uh, but even in those games, we perform well. Like against West Ham, we need to we just need to find the connection in the final third. Or games like uh, Nottingham Forest score the first goal and then uh, get the game in that uh, in that space for us. And we didn't. So some of the games has been a little bit hard to to make our game. And some of the games we didn't manage well. Uh, the fact that we need to get something out of those games. I think it's also a little bit of mental part when you play against those teams, nobody expects uh, that you get those points more than yourself. So it's a little bit more, uh, you're a little bit more free to, to do certain things. So that that's, has been there. And unfortunately, we didn't manage in the proper way. Do you think that sort of that mental aspect that you mentioned, do you think that could be a problem for this team next season when they're playing in the championship and obviously they're going to be favorites in a lot of games coming up against teams who are probably going to sit back very deep and try to just play for a point, considering sort of that mental potential weakness that you just mentioned, do you no, think that could be a problem? I'm not going to answer that question because it's not for me to evaluate what will happen after this press conference. Sorry. No worries. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we say it on Friday, but uh, you have been always very professional with me and I feel always comfortable with you. So thank you for all the press conference that we have, for how respectful you have been, and I wish all of you all the best. See you soon. I will be back. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.